Welcome back to World Business. We now go to Head Start on Government Policies. Harold Davis is the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Business Development Corporation, the JBDC, and Omar Lawson is the President of Jamaica Federation of Musicians and Affiliates Union. And they now join us to respond to Prime Minister, the Prime Minister's claim that there are not enough trained people in the entertainment sector forcing hoteliers to import them. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome. Uh, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, How are you doing? I am very well, Mr. Hyman. Okay. okay. Thank you for having me on the program. Um, real real you. business. Good. Right? Yes. So let's get down to the, the real business. And hello to all the people in listening radio hello. land. Oh, yes. Get down uh, to the is, real business. Uh, is, Harold, get down Harold, real business. is Harold with us? No, not yet. Not yet? Okay. Yes. Okay. Go, go ahead, Omar. Let's get to the business. Well, uh, what is clear is that there needs to be dialogue. Mm -hmm. We need, in this industry, we need accountability, we need transparency, we need standards, and we also need enforcement mechanisms to see that these standards are upheld on every level of the entertainment industry in the country. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So what is happening in the hotels? Well, it, the industry has gone through, since COVID, yes. has gone through a, a period of toughness, roughness, instability. A lot of practitioners mm -hmm. have left the island mm -hmm. because of COVID and the lockdown, and a lot of practitioners has turned to other, other, other jobs. Mm -hmm. Right. Since the opening of the hotel sector, we, we still are not able to get our practitioners that we represent to be working in the sector. We mean in the union, the Jamaica Federation right. of Musicians the Jamaica and Affiliates Union. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there, there needs to be no, no institution to train persons. I, I, I believe that. There is, why we support the idea, mm -hmm. we believe that it can be the, 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 the money can be channeled in a better direction. Okay. In terms of the programs that are already here that 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 we have that needs to be be supported mm -hmm. financially to 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 grow anything, there needs to be financial support. Okay. The entertainment mm -hmm. has not. In the industry has not had proper financial support. So mm -hmm. we believe some of those monies should be channeled to the, the, the buildings that are already here and the programs that already are already here. Okay. So that those programs can help to, to, to support the industry. Okay. We don't believe that we don't have trained people that we have to and be certified in that. people. Mm -hmm. In Jamaica, we do have trained people. We do have certified persons. They are not being employed, okay. and that is what we are seeing through our spectacles at the JFMA. Yes. Okay. okay. A lot of our practitioners are not employed. Okay. Um, Omar, let's take a short break for the time signal. When we return, we'll continue. Okay. All right. Welcome back to Rare Business. We continue our conversation with Omar Lawson, President of the Jamaica Federation of Musicians and Affiliates Union. And we are now joined by Harold Davis, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Business Development Corporation, JBDC. And they are responding to the Prime Minister's claim that there are not enough trained people in the entertainment sector forcing hoteliers to import them. Welcome, Akamar. Welcome, Harold. Thank you. Okay. Sir Harry. Hello? Sorry? Harold Davis. Sir Hello? Harry? Yes. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, man, we're hearing you now. Okay. okay. Yeah, man, what's your take on what is happening in the hotel sector in relation to well, the entertainment industry? Yeah, well, the hotel sector has, um, 
Well, first of all, it's, it is the hotel sector in general is the bread and butter for a lot of um, entertainers, mm -hmm. especially on the North Coast, for many, many years now. Mm -hmm. I used to work in the hotel industry on, on stage many, many years ago. Yes. Uh, um, so it has been and it has helped um, our entertainers, musicians, dancers, um, other artists and so on to feed their family, send their children to school and so on for many, many years now. Mm -hmm. And what has happened in recent times based on uh, research that has been done, um, anecdotal some, in some instances, empirical in other instances, is that not only less persons less of our Jamaicans are working on stage and, and for, for shorter periods of time, mm -hmm. in other words, not normally it's a six-day week, now, sometimes it's now a two- or three-day week, um, um, but also there has been a steady kind of reduction in terms of the, the value um, of, 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 of that particular product, you know, so mm -hmm. persons are being paid, um, you know, less over a period, comparatively over the period of time and so on. And of course, the whole COVID situation has exacerbated this somewhat, you know, um, mm -hmm. with the whole shutdown of the industry. No, no, do no fault of um, anyone else is apart from the virus, <laughs> you know. Um, but in opening box, I was overhearing some of the stuff that the president was saying just now. Um, the persons are even seemingly employed even less. In, mm -hmm. in, in the period. Yeah? Late current Smith yes. is the term that too. Yes, 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 yes. That is, has been an issue um, for a while and the JFMAU has been on the front burner and other and other associations as well mm -hmm. um, making this claim, you know, and, and speaking about this in, in real, real loud, in a real loud way, you mm -hmm. know. So that is, so that is, that, that is what's happening. But um, like Omar was saying earlier, uh, the attention that is being paid to the entertainment and, and creative industries in a whole, we are happy for that. Um, generally speaking, the attention that, that is being paid, I mean, and you know we did a mapping recently, JBDC, did a mapping of the sector, looking mm -hmm. at all of the uh, ecosystem and the constituents, and there's a lot of work going on, even now as we speak, in terms of research and so on, um, economic impact assessment and that type of thing of the sector. So the move to of the government to to look to uh, solve uh, and, and, and what 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 it sees to be a problem, what it sees to be a problem by setting up a, a, a an institution um, is 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 happening. However, um, I, our approach as as a JBDC or and, I'm, and as a practitioner myself would be to make sure that we look at the entire ecosystem as we are doing. Mm -hmm. um, at JBDC to make sure that, in fact, uh, the institutions that are in the ecosystem aren't are being maximized. You know, we have institutions that are government institutions supported by government. You know, Edna Manley, for instance. Mm -hmm. There is Hart. There is Alpha. That's not government, but uh, it's supported by mm -hmm. government. There is the, the the wonderful institution called JCDC. How are we leveraging this if there is a perceived gap? Um, that that is being seen. How are we leveraging these institutions, strengthening them? Because I know, for instance, Edna is start, is that, uh, complains every day that they're not if, um, sufficiently financed. You know, mm -hmm. um, how are we leveraging these institutions that have programs already set up? Mm -hmm. and, uh, not to mention the plethora of private institutions mm -hmm. that offer entertainment um, training, for instance. Um, a lot of them in the West as well. How are we leveraging, identifying these, leveraging them, strengthening them with resources and things of that nature to deal with a perceived gap, even if there's a gap, uh, uh -huh. which I, I'm not sure that there is, but even mm -hmm. if there is a gap, um, how are we you now strengthening these institutions, which I believe should be the first spend um, of, of the book? So look at that and to make sure that we are mapping the entire ecosystem and, and, and all those that already have structured programs and pro and projects. If, for instance, if there's a gap, um, as, as the Prime Minister has said and, and alluded to, in the in terms of an institution in the West, um, then perhaps uh, we could charge Egna Money to set up a Western campus mm -hmm. um, with particular criteria that meet specific needs of the hotel industry, for instance, if mm -hmm. there's a, that perceived gap. So from our perspective, from my perspective, I think um, I'm not. I haven't been 
I, myself, I'm not completely aware of the exact program because I've, all we have heard is the announcement of the of the setting up of the, the, the structure itself. Mm. I'm not aware of how the program is envisaged to be set up in, in, if it's going to be in partnership with any of these organizations. But I would suggest mm -hmm. that this is the approach that we should take, leverage the resources that are already in existence. Inclusive um, of the graduates of those institutions. Is it that absolutely. we are employing people from the DOMREP on Cuba at the expense of the graduates of those institutions? Well, well Omar? Is, uh, yes, I, I do believe that is happening from, from where I sit. And I, and I think some employers are operating outside of the regulatory framework mm. of the JSNAU okay. because they can prey upon the low-skilled workers that we have and the persons who does not understand too much about the standards of entertainment. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So the exploitation is there. And because of the ignorance, it is happening. So I'm taking this opportunity to say to young entertainers, become a part of the JSNAU so that your rights, the, the Jamaica Federation of Musicians and Athletes Union, protects your rights and your interests and makes sure that you get your benefits as an entertainment practitioner. Whether it is that you're working in the hotel sector or outside of the hotel sector, whether it is you're a touring musician or just a regular person working anywhere in the country. Okay. So, now, so, yeah, go ahead. So these are some of the issues that, that, that we have seen, right? So, Omar, you say that many um, in the industry are trained and certified but are not getting job, uh, jobs. Has there been any dialogue with the employees in the industry to find out why it is that these trained and certified persons are not the ones being hired and, you know, other persons have been imported to do the job? Well, the JFMAU has re-registered since 2017 under the late President Simmons. Right? Mm -hmm. And we have been having dialogue. We continue to have dialogue as president for this year has made some strategic moves. We've started to have the dialogue with the, the JHTA, the, the hotel sector, the entertainers themselves, to bring a holistic understanding of what is happening. Um, minister has reached out, so I know he is willing to have dialogue. The minister... Grange, Minister mm -hmm. Bartlett, we've had meetings up to the level of the Prime Minister. So what, 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 about, what, about, what about the employers? Are they a part of these discussions? Some of the employers are a part of it. Some of them we have invited. We continue to, to, to invite them, to, to remind them, to educate them about the, the, the labor standards. Mm -hmm. The laws of the country, the bylaws of the JSMA, Jamaica Federation of Musicians and Affiliates Union, so that we can all be on the same page because the union will not sit here and allow any employer to erode the standards that we have, we have worked so hard to build. And we are noticing that in the, in the, hotel, and in, uh, the hotel and tourism sector, Persons are putting in their own standards for their own benefit, but not for the benefit of the entire sector. And this will not be allowed to continue under this JSMAU watch. Okay, so, so what is it that you can do practically, you know, th that would um, prevent this from happening? Well, the meetings, the meetings are... are one of the, 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 the strategies that we are taking because we are explaining to persons the laws and the bylaws and so forth. Mm -hmm. We also would like the, 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 the participation of government in terms of the things that we are pushing to see happen, that no one goes on these stages in Jamaica without being a part of a union. Yes. Because this is one of the major problems that we're having, that anybody can jump on any stage at any time and do anything they feel like. Yes. Mm. We are looking into the enforcement um, reach that we have, and we will be pushing those enforcement. We, we are talking to the police, and we are talking to a number of other players and stakeholders in the industry, number of other like-minded um, representatives of entertainment practitioners to see how we can holistically come together 
to make sure that these standards are not are not eroded. Okay. So Harry, what is it that you're saying to the players in the industry and the authorities? Oh, that's for me? Yeah, man. Oh, listen, um, I think for, for, well, there are two sides of the coin. Eh? Mm-hmm. Um, we have to make sure as, as, as persons in the creative and cultural industries that we are, um, as Omar says, up to the task, up to mm-hmm. speed, mm-hmm. that our skills are, are top brass that our knowledge of the industry and sectors and our rights including our rights mm-hmm. um are 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 there um, mm-hmm. um the, the, the 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 other sec the, the um employers mm-hmm. again there is some amount of um dialogue that needs to happen there as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. um because employers themselves uh i think needs especially in the hotel industry mm-hmm. needs to understand the value of say a jamaican product mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um and and a top brass jamaican product to your own product as 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 a hotel you know mm-hmm. what i mean but sometimes I, I get the sense that 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 is not 100 percent understood yes and, and and certainly for other stakeholders like for instance the government of jamaica i know as omar says that mm-hmm. minister grange and minister bartlett are very willing to have um dialogue um, they have been willing since karen smith was there <laughs> yeah they are, they're, they're but the situation are, has not changed much <laughs> yeah yeah no but no but truth, truthfully and 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 um, in recent times certainly minister grange has had numerous um conversations with the sector and mm-hmm. a lot of the work that is now happening that i mentioned earlier mm-hmm. is driven really uh, under the ministry of of, of culture and mm-hmm. culture gender entertainment and and sport in terms of the various studies that are done the research to get it right and so on. I know that Minister Bartlett also has a as a as a has a has a keen interest as as a entertainment as a subsector of the tourism um, product itself. Mm-hmm. You know to, to to have that happen. So I think it, it needs a coming together of um, of of all of the stakeholders um, in a in a constructive kind of way um, and to make sure that we are making the 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 move that will benefit everybody in in the sector those who are well, is the prime minister aware of those conversations and if he is why did he make the statement that he make that uh, well i guess well, yes, 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 yes. it's unfortunate and i yes. would invite the prime minister yes. and those advising him to come and sit down with the jsma oh. and, mm-hmm. and, and and yes. sit down with with the entertainment ministry, let us sit down and speak about these things from the grassroots level, mm. from persons who know what is happening on the grassroots yes. level and can make informed decision as to what is really happening into the sector, right? Okay. You cannot make decisions for the sector without speaking with the persons yes. who are actually in the, the sector. Players right. in the industry who are feeling the pains and going through the industry okay. every single day and, and, and know what needs. So I invite the Prime Minister and the Ministers to come and sit down with us so we can have that dialogue. Agree. I hope they accept that invitation. Move yeah. to and, and can I, can I make a getting point? it done. Yes, sir. Um, part of the thing, too, you know, as we have been saying for the last few years, is the fragmentation in the creative and cultural industries. Mm-hmm. Um, for us to even recognize that is one industry, entertainment, mm-hmm. creative and cultural industries. There's fragmentation, and there is the, even the mere fact that I think it's six or eight ministries, that, have, ministries. That, yes. that, that, that that you know it means that we need coming together and dialogue around one table so that so that at least we're first at first first of all recognize what the ecosystem look like and all the players there and then know to like a chess game to mm-hmm. determine now how it is that we um leverage and maximize the, the, the resources that are the knowledge resources and the financial resources that are already in place to make sure that we move this case so it's, it's, it's the creative and cultural industries Really, go move Jamaica sustainably forward enough. Agreed, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, right, so, sir. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, you know, you know, Simon, you. I've I've written the paper about this as well, and I have asked for the entertainment, culture, and and creative industry to be one ministry, and yeah. I have mm-hmm. spoken about that, and it's something that we want to see. I want to see more financial support for that Agreed. ministry yes. as well. Yeah, man. We Mr. need more financial ministry. support Agreed. to grow yes. the, the, the industry the kind of way it needs to be to be grown. Yeah, because man. a lot of artists need that financial help when you're young. Yeah. If you talk about busing the artists and so forth, but if you don't put these kind of financial 
structures in place where they can get help to get a team together and so forth, then we will only have one person out of a, a, a century. One in 50, yeah. one in 100. Right. Yeah, man, I exactly. agree. Exactly. All right, yeah. sir. Thank like, you so much. Thank you very much, thank gentlemen. You, gentlemen. Okay. Yes. Yeah, man. Thank, thank you for the opportunity. Okay, yes. blessings. Yeah. That was Harold Davis, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Jamaica Business Development Corporation, JBDC, and Omar Lawson, President of the Jamaica Federation of Musicians and Affiliates Union, responding to the Prime Minister's claim that there are not enough trained people in the entertainment sector forcing hotels.